The first part was great. The second part was a little patronizing. We usually make jokes when I come out here about how like the Galois is full, and that's not true. But tonight is pretty much true, which is exciting. If you're on your couch watching this, you should be here watching this without your couch. Don't bring your couch here. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Elsie Larson and Emma Chapman from the website A Beautiful Mess are here. They're a big deal. We also have the music of Barrick Hill. He's here as well. Yeah. And you guys, we have a great title sponsor. Their name is Cone Chips. Here's a commercial we made for them. Check it out. A lot of people tell me, hey, Jeff, cone chips look great. Waffle cones dipped in chocolate? But what do they actually taste like? So I tell them, cone chips taste like the opposite of what orange juice and toothpaste taste like. Cone chips. They taste like a marching band of American bald eagles. Cone chips. They taste like the Magna Carta. Cone chips. They taste like a Taylor Swift song, but she gets the boy. Ooh. Hey, uh, you know, it's winter outside. And uh, the, the tough thing right now is that it's winter outside, but there's no snow, so it's, it feels like you can't get out and enjoy it. Um, so we sent Chance, uh, one of our writers, out on the street, and we're going to show you how you can actually enjoy winter without snow. So you can, you can do whatever you want. Chance, are you out there? Oh, yeah. He can't talk, but he can hear me. He has a brand new sled. He's going to show you how you can sled without snow. Go ahead, Chance. There it is. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Who needs snow? All right. Uh, next up, first, we're so excited you guys are, are watching. No one should be watching this, and I think, and you do. If you're hearing me right now, you're watching it. If you can't hear my voice. <laughs> All right, next up, things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. First, um, let me say I'd like to say to the woman who sent us a Facebook message saying that that song is annoying and we should stop playing it. Ah. <laughs> First off, you're not wrong, but we're still gonna play it. Yes, Dave. That song was my ringtone for about a year and a half. Yeah? Nope, that song does not go. If that, if that song goes, I'm gone. All right. Sorry, lady. Sorry, it's lady. song or Dave. Sorry, lady. And one is a lovable ginger. Sorry, one person. <clears throat> All right. These are things I've noticed. Uh, I've noticed that smartphones are the backs of cereal boxes in the breakfast of our lives. <laughs> <clears throat> I've noticed that adulthood is always just outside the reach of my PB&J encrusted fingertips. <clears throat> I've noticed that Arby's is the townie bar of the fast food world. <laughs> you can still be a sponsor though, Arby's. <laughs> I've noticed that my two-year-old son is learning his colors by all of the illuminated dashboard lights in my crappy car. <laughs> Which is 100% true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've noticed that I question how many songs there can be about butts and how butts move. We're at the limit, right? <laughs> no more frontiers there. <clears throat> and finally, I've noticed that 90% of my Twitter engagement on my phone occurs as a result of repeatedly wanting to check the weather app that I never end up getting to. Things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. You guys like the song. Love it. 
All right, uh, so we are a locally produced show. It's kind of rare, um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you to my family in the audience. <laughs> but there are actually a lot of other locally produced shows in the area, and we wanted to highlight some of those shows, show you some clips from them, because you may not be aware of them. Um, so we're just gonna show you some of these. You guys might want to tune in and, and check them out. So uh, let's start first up. Uh, this is a show that lets viewers know about what's going on in the community. Let's have a look. I was thinking about buying some rugs for my house. I wanted to buy some art. What if, what if there, there was, was one, one place? Rug, art, rug and art, rug and art. Yeah, like in a parking lot. Or I don't know, it'd be cool if it'd be like under a big white tent. Rug, art, rug and art, rug and art. That wouldn't be weird, would it? I don't think so. Rug and art, rug and art, rug and art, rug and art. All right. <laughs> By the way, that show also has crappy mics. <laughs> Not ours, it's that show. Um, this one, uh, next up, is a show that says that it's the most appropriately named show in the area. Detective Mike Hardnox is on the case. He's fighting the bad guys and cracking the cases one hour at a time on the appropriately named show, The Mystery Hour. It's a show about solving mysteries and it lasts an hour. It makes sense for it to be named the Mystery Hour. <clears throat> That's also for the people who write in and say, your show's not a mystery or an hour. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, for this one, I think the name says it all. Uh, this is a chef wearing a coat that is too small, and he makes a simple recipe too complicated. It's too small coat, too complicated cooking show. <laughs> well, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You grab one slice, and then you'll grab the second. And then, you take the knife. One knife. You take the peanut butter, and you unscrew it, just do a little, little mixing up. Stir it a little bit. It's better if you have a really sharp knife. Maybe 4.7 tablespoons worth of peanut butter. I like it real creamy, but also with the nuts. Because they're nutty, right? Every, every single edge has to be covered or it's not peanut butter and jelly. It's peanut butter and sloppy, it's what it is. All right. So the next one, the next one sounds gross and inappropriate. All I know is the name, um, Bare Naked Wrestling. <laughs> and then they just disappear. Uh, next one up is a uh, local infomercial about where students can sell their books at the end of the semester. Hey, other college students, are you looking to sell those lame old textbooks so you can have some cash for party things and fun shirts? Well, then do I have the place for you? Come on down to the student book return where we will sell you a book for $200, and then we will buy it back from you for $5 cash! The faster you sell us those books, the quicker you'll be on your way to getting yourself a new donut, or perhaps a killer sweatshirt. So come on down today! <laughs> All right, next up, 
uh, this, one, this one seems really personal and honest and kind of sad, and it's just called Paul's Regrets. Those fast ones at the end were specifically for those of you with a DVR. <laughs> All right, and the last one uh, is a little number called One Drunk Muppet. <laughs> That's it. We'll be right back with Elsie Larson and Emma Chapman from A Beautiful Miss Mess. Stay with us. Tonight's venue sponsorship provided by BYO Pizza. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, we have great guests coming up next, but we also have a great guest sponsor. MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it, man. They don't ask to do it that way. <laughs> All right, our guests tonight are a big deal. They have a website called A Beautiful Mess. Please give it up for Elsie Larson and Emma Chapman. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Can you sit right here? Hi, oh, we can do a hug. Oh, I like your chairs. Fancy. Ooh, this is really fancy. Isn't yeah. it? Yes. Wow. Uh, have you guys tried cone chips before? No. I'm not going to pressure you into them, but they're very good. Okay. You can you can get into them yourself. It looks like an ice cream cone. Yeah, you How can dip cute. them in. I feel like I'm doing an advertisement now for them. You guys. Okay, so I know you guys won't brag about yourselves, but you have a website called A Beautiful Mess, and you get like over a million views a month. 1.8 million last month. Not so to brag. So you will. But... <laughs> 1.8 million. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, how did, tell us about it. Like first, for someone who doesn't know, how do you describe it? Mm -hmm. Well, I always blow it when I describe it to new people. It's kind of hard to describe. Yeah. But I always try to gauge it based on the age. Mm -hmm. Like, should I start with, here's what the internet is. <laughs> then, it depends on the age, right? You're like, okay, right, right. first, do you know what a blog is? It's like that whole thing. But yeah. ours is focuses on um, women's lifestyle stuff. So okay. crafts, cooking, decorating your house. Um, fashion. Fashion. Actually, this dress that I'm wearing, not to brag again, but Elsie designed, and we did our own dress line a couple years ago, and I still have it. I still like it. So. Uh, nice. It's not out of style two years later. Well, it's based on the 70s, and one time we were, at, <laughs> we were at Panera, and it was close to Halloween, and a gal, I didn't know, just someone was like, oh, I like your dress, that's a great Halloween costume. <laughs> oh, no. I was just like, yeah. thanks, that's, <laughs> get my soup, you know. That's the worst compliment ever. <laughs> yeah, it kind it of would was. have been worse if they said, what a great dress for Halloween, and you're pregnant, and great. <laughs> Congratulations! Like, like, I don't want this soup anymore. I'm not eating anymore. <laughs> I'm so, out of here. Yeah, forget it. So. That's when you need a smoke bomb so you can throw it and then leave. Yeah. <laughs> Magician them. Um, but how did it grow? Like, how did it grow from, I mean, imagine it had small beginnings and then it grew. It did, yeah. 
When we first started A Beautiful Mess, I would just post like selfies and pictures of my dog, and that's like what our blog was. But when we joined together, we started doing recipes and DIY projects um, several times a week and then several times a day, and that's really how... So we think of it more as like shareable content. Mm -hmm. So it's the yeah. type of stuff that people get on Pinterest and they're looking for, and we're hoping to kind of catch their eye and they'll come over to the site. And actually, sites like Pinterest have helped us a lot over the last few years. So. Yeah. And um, what I think is kind of interesting about you guys is uh, that not everyone, not everyone knows about you, but the people that do know about you are like, oh my god, look at my Like, because <laughs> I follow you guys on Instagram, and I've got, I don't Thank know, 20 you. likes or something is the most. You guys get. You have a great Instagram. <laughs> I have a great Instagram? Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. I feel like you've never seen it. It's kind of nice. Yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, will you guys first, will you comment on the set? Because I was nervous about having you guys here because you guys know how things are supposed to look. <gasps> I love this dog. Yes. The dog is good? Yeah, that's really cute. It's very eclectic. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like all the wood. And these yeah. chairs are very fancy. My husband would love this wood. Yeah? He's going to steal it. <laughs> Your husband it's just steals wood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking okay. of which, Elsie, you got engaged during a mystery hour several years ago. It's true. On this stage. It's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a rumor that he's going to propose again tonight. <laughs> it's a duo. Come on out, Jerry. No. Um, <laughs> So, but you also, more than just the blog, you also do books? What yes. else? So we have our second book, came out last summer. We've had two number one apps. Yeah? Number one meaning what compared to? Number one in the iTunes store. Really? Like in the paid apps. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you. And you have, do you have a product line? Yes. It's out now? In November, we launched our product line. So we have like paper, stamps, ink, all sorts of stuff that you might need to scrapbook or make a homemade card or other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> stuff like you know, that. you yeah. know, you yeah. got it, right? I love making homemade <laughs> cards. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know what? Actually, um, I feel like you guys are yes. doing a great job, but we have ideas for some new sort of crafty things. Please. Oh, thank Please. goodness. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are out of ideas. So, so. um, this one's called Soulmate, and it's a sock. Okay. And then on the inside, you put a picture of your loved one, and oh. then it just sits at the bottom, and then they're always right by your soul. Who's that? Wait, yeah. <laughs> it's Channing Tatum. Um, it's Channing Tatum. Yeah. This one combines good. two great ideas. It's an iPhone case that's also a piece of pizza. Ooh. <laughs> OK. I'm thinking it's going well. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one I don't remember, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one either. Okay. <laughs> what is your call. favorite thing you guys have made? Mm. Oh. Um, this week, what did I make this week? I cook a lot on the site. So yeah. one of my things that I made this week was quinoa patties. Quinoa you ever had patties. quinoa patties or quinoa in no, general? I had quinoa. I used to call it quinoa. Yeah, that's what And that's then I learned that's not how you say it. Glad I learned that. Right. Um, but luckily, if you're just <laughs> writing it out. I'm just typing it, so, yeah. 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 But yeah, that was good. Um, anyway, well, we appreciate you guys coming on the show. I think what you're doing is great. Um, and thanks for visiting with us. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for having us. We'll be back with Barrick Hill. Stay where you are. We have come to the musical portion of the show. We have a great guest tonight. He's heading down to South by Southwest soon, but we got him before he left. Give it up for Barrick Hill. Barrick! I like the sound of heartache. I write what I know, and I know it so well. Attention when my heart breaks. Another 
Tonight, so you know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight goes to a great organization called Habitat for Humanity. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back next week. Sleep tight.